from civil. Can you hear me now? Sheriff's deputies patrolling a particularly remote part of Balachua County are now able to reply, yes. A project that was 10 years in the making will become a reality tomorrow. TV20's Alexander Cowley reports a new radio tower will make car and portable radio signals more reliable for deputies who might otherwise be on their own. The Waldo area has been known for years for having a weak radio signal, which makes communication between emergency operations center and ditch dispatchers difficult. A solution to this problem is in the near future. It's terrifying. Carrie Burden is the supervisor at the Combined Communication Center. Your heart just drops. If you can't get a hold of your unit, you just, okay, it it's your panic. The northeast part of the county has had radio signal issues for years. A huge safety issue. For the officers? For officers, yes. You know, and the stress and the stuff we go through, just not knowing where they are, you know, that puts us sheer panic. Ryan Lee is the communications commander for the Alachua County Sheriff's Office and has experienced the weak radio signals. Very garbled uh, transmissions get only every fourth or fifth word. It, it, it makes it very uh, indistinguishable um, in the transmission. With an almost $400,000 federal grant, the sheriff's office was able to replace the old orange tower with this new one, reaching 420 feet. These are basically six radios that take and amplify uh, the signal so that any deputy or fireman uh, paramedic, anyone using the radio can uh, get signal up in the northeast part of the county and talk back to dispatch or talk to other field units. Workers started taking down the old tower piece by piece and the new one is expected to be up and running tomorrow. A new tower means a clear signal and less stress in emergency situations. I'm not going to be as concerned about, you know, are they going to be able to reach me if they need me, you know, or if I need them for backup, they're going to hear me when we we need them. This is absolutely phenomenal because we're going to see it on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, improve safety of the field units, safety of the citizens. It's, it's going to be wonderful. The new tower was built in 45 days using four men who clearly are not afraid of heights. Communications Commander Ryan Lee says it will be in full use by at the latest next week. Alexander Cowley, TV20 News.